Hey, what's going on? So in this video, we're going to be comparing old funnels and the old way of doing things with AI driven funnels and using AI for the sales fulfillment process to actually nurture our leads, book them onto your sales calendar and ultimately get that cash collected. And the best part about AI driven funnels, especially when you're taking people out of the equation, as far as manual work that used to have to be done, it's ultimately cheaper and more efficient. So it's really the next wave and it's going to be taking over the industry. So to start off with the basics, what's the point of having a funnel? What's the goal here? Now, what we're doing when we're actually building out a funnel is we're looking to collect leads. We're looking to provide education to those leads as in nurturing those leads, getting them to understand your offer and get a little more warmed on what you're selling, call scheduling, so booking them on a sales call or sales appointment or really whatever your sales objective is. And then lastly, constant follow-ups. Now that we've got their information from the funnel, we can continue to do additional marketing efforts such as email, SMS marketing, or even calling leads up to try to push them over to that sales appointment or whatever your sales objective may be. Now, in essence, it doesn't matter if your funnel's old, new, manual, or AI-driven. It all boils down to these are the key principles and the main reasons that are driving you to want to build a funnel in the first place. Now, getting into some more specifics. So typically how old funnels will work is you'll push ads and cold traffic over to a website. Then you'll attempt to push that website traffic over to book a call with you in hopes that you'll actually be able to close the client. So let's say you have a 2% booking rate off 30 calls and then of people that actually did book in the appointment, you have 12 that are showing up. You have a pretty shitty show up rate and not a very good close rate either because you don't have really optimized systems. You're essentially just pushing out your cold traffic and your ad traffic over to a website and hoping something sticks. There's really no pre-qualification going on, no way to filter leads that are coming through. And ultimately it's going to lead to little to no clients being closed, right? So the big flaws to this is that you don't have a smart CRM, meaning you don't have any way to data collect information and a big way to even incentivize leads to give you their data. Cause I know a lot of people are hesitant to give stuff out, but if you can give a transaction of information, for instance, you could be like, Hey, I spent a hundred hours building out this entire client acquisition strategy, give me your email and I'll email it over to you for free. Or I spent $10,000 to get this information. I'll give it to you for free. All you have to do is give me your email or phone number. There's so many ways to incentivize a trade for information. It's really easy to do. And it's honestly a non-negotiable for marketing these days. Next is no lead management. Once again, if you're just raw dogging it and pushing leads onto a website, there's really no way to monitor the leads as they move through the pipeline. And you don't really have any way to optimize or see where all the drop-offs are at. Next is no personalization. This is honestly variable, but mainly what I'm getting at is if you have leads that are coming through your pipeline and you're not reaching out to them or you have no way to engage with the leads after the fact, then it's not personalized at all. Whereas if you had data collection take place and then an AI is now reaching out or there's some sort of AI function there or not even AI, but there's just some sort of function there in order to re-engage with that lead at a later date, it's a lot more personalized. It'll be like, hey, I saw you made it and watched our video, but you didn't book in a call on how to lose weight. I was just curious. Do you still want to learn more on how I'm able to get guarantee 30 lost pounds within the next I don't know, 30 days. I'm just making up a scenario out loud. Next, no live data being updated. As I said, assuming you're going the traditional route, you're just pushing people over to the website and you don't really have any way to track these leads as they come through. You don't have a Metapixel or anything on your ad campaign either. You're really just hoping for the best. See, even if you have a really compelling offer or website, imagine how much more revenue you could generate if you actually had uh, some more accuracy and kind of honed in on some of the systems in place in order to generate that one, two, three extra sales. But if we're talking high ticket now, you know, that could be like 15,000 extra dollars on the table if you just locked in and actually did what you were supposed to. And lastly, slow manual tasks. Anytime you don't have automations in place, you don't have a backend CRM in place, you have no touch points or ways to throw leads in like an email drip sequence. You're essentially making a ton of manual work for yourself as far as if you did want to go after leads. You'll not have to cold call leads, cold email leads. You have no data collection coming in, so you don't even have warm leads, so you're only focusing on outbound because you didn't you weren't able to track anyone that was inbound, right? Perfect. Now that we got that horrible mess of a funnel out of the way, let's get into the scale agents AI sales system funnel. Now with the scale agents funnel, we're essentially looking to solve Solve all the shortcomings that I previously mentioned. So we're using an AI powered CRM. So we're generating leads. We're now taking that leads information. Now, once they're in our CRM, we have AI appointment setters that are reaching out to our leads on all messaging channels. I'm talking dialers, Instagram, Facebook, SMS, WhatsApp. We're even emailing these leads. And then if a lead responds, then we have an AI pickup and send them over a reply email, live tracking and notifications. So we have metapixels on all of our clients funnels so that we know exactly where leads are at in the pipeline. And then anytime there's 
a form data collection, if it's organic or if it's ad traffic, we're able to differentiate that because we have separate funnels for the specific use case. And that's another pro tip also. Never have just one funnel, specifically if you're running ads, assuming you've got a social brand or you're on the side pushing out the link. You don't want to be pushing out your ad link because that'll just completely obliterate your ability to optimize and have your pixel understand you know, where this lead traffic is coming from. You don't want to accidentally reward Meta with a call booking or a website visit when it was actually an organic stream that did that, right? Next is hyper-personalized conversations, meaning if a lead is on a page to lose weight, we're going to be sending them messages about, hey, I saw you were on our page to lose weight, uh, but you didn't book in a call. Let's talk about it, right? And especially if you have multiple different segments to an offer, then this is huge because then you can get oddly specific. Like, hey, I saw, you know, on our all-encompassing fitness page, you were specifically interested in how to get a six-pack or uh, how to get bigger biceps or something like that. I'm on a fitness niche today. I don't know why. But, you know... It also goes like, let's say real estate, be like, hey, I, I saw you were specifically looking to get into commercial real estate. Uh, I'd be happy to give you some more details on that. Perhaps I can provide you a bit more insight to see if you're interested in joining our partner program. Next is live data for immediate decisions. This goes down to the fact that marketing is a numbers game. If you can do the math, then it's simple, it's straightforward. So because we have live data to go off of as far as the conversations that are taking place, the leads that are coming into the pipeline, how much money it's taking in order to invoke those leads to come into our pipeline, if you have all this data in front of you, it's really easy to systemize things and be like, okay, well, we're spending $48 on a lead, and then let's say we're spending like $100 on email and SMS marketing efforts, and then we're spending an extra couple hundred bucks on an AI appointment setter. So in total, we've got like $500 overhead in order to generate a qualified lead, assuming you have, let's say, like a $5,000 package. That's now a 10x return on ad spend. You spent $500 and you got $5,000 back. Now, you know, this is just an example, but I'm a huge believer that meta ads is the place to go if you're a B2B or a B2C business and you're looking to generate leads. We're still in a time where even though ad spend is getting a lot more pricey in order to invoke a lead, these crazy multipliers are still possible, assuming you've got a ticket offer above like $2,000. And then lastly, a fully automated system using AI agents. And what I mean by that is for me and my clients, how we're setting these up, we're launching ad campaigns, we're plugging in lead lists, and we're posting organic content. And then aside from that, it's hands-free. The AI does all the invoking of conversations on all messaging platforms. If and when a lead does book in, then we're moving them into different nurturing sequences where they'll receive pre-call videos to try to warm the lead a little more to kind of make the sales process a lot more efficient and actually getting that cash collected on the spot. And then we're also doing reminders, AI-driven reminders in order to hold more accountability on our leads to actually show up to these sales calls to increase your show-up rate and thus iterate your ability to collect revenue. See, the goal of anyone that's trying to leverage an AI sales fulfillment system like like I'm discussing today is essentially to drive traffic into an ecosystem where automations completely take over. And so you don't have to do any more manual tasks. And especially if you're trying to become a high rolling business owner, let's be real. No business owner ever made it to the next level by doing every single little nitpicky job themselves. Don't get me wrong, I think it's very important for business owners to be able to wear all hats in the business and understand the full scope of every single point of their business model. Like when I was first starting out, I was taking all my sales calls myself, doing all the service delivery myself, building all the funnels myself, running all the ads myself. And as I started to accrue more clients, obviously that became damn near impossible to juggle all that and continue to try to land more clients. So I had to get a team under my belt as far as the service delivery is concerned. Because of that, I had to go prospect for potential teammates to hire. I had to kind of show them the ropes on how the system systems work, how client delivery works, but all this wouldn't have been possible if I didn't have an AI sales fulfillment system at my top of funnel, middle funnel, bottom of funnel, basically to where I'm no longer worried about getting leads, generating leads, marketing for leads, because I've got an AI in place that's doing that. And I had an ad campaign that was running. So I was able to then focus internally on the business, hiring people. And now it made it to where I have a, an entire AI generated sales fulfillment system and I have an in-house team. So I'm now more of a high level mover within the business. I'm attending sales calls here and there and I'm talking with my clients. A big part of what I love to do and what I still do as far as service delivery is concerned is direct AI integrations and different workflow automations. That's my bread and butter. I have a code background so I really enjoy doing shit like that and you know at some point that's going to be the next phase to offload as far as getting the team to the next level no man ever made it far sailing on their own so tying it back to this visual assuming a lead gets pushed over into our AI sales fulfillment system we're now capturing their information and separately sending them a message so if they don't book in a call immediately we're going to be hitting them up and hounding them to try to book in a call we're going to educate them support them qualify them and manage them in order to be nurtured and properly push them over into our next sales objective and our data-driven action 
actions regarding how the lead is navigating through our funnel and based on the form inputs they put in, we're going to either disqualify them or we're going to qualify them. If they're disqualified, we're just going to push them out of the system, get rid of them. We don't need them anyway. And if they are qualified, we're going to train our Metapixel on the fact that they're a qualified lead and to go find more people that fit that demographic. And we're also going to be hitting them with more aggressive follow-up automations because they fit our profile and we really want to work with them. And the best part is with the backend CRM, like I'm discussing here with their AI-driven sales fulfillment system, is that the actual lead management and appointment booking process entirely automated, as I keep saying. So we're getting live KPIs on any lead that's actively conversing with one of our AIs, uh, who's gotten the call proposed, who's booked in, who ghosted us, who's due for a follow-up, the whole nine yards. So oh, great. So you've got a sales fulfillment system in mind using the power of AI and you're ready to launch a funnel. So now what can we use AI for more specifically? You can use it for sending booking links over to leads, assuming you have an AI appointment setter set up. It can dish out calendar links, or if you're using a dialer, it can simply book them in on the phone. And now bada bing bada boom you got a new call booking within your sales calendar you can use ai to educate leads qualify them drop youtube links or just drop general videos for leads to watch to understand your offer a little more to know like and trust you so they'll be more compelled to actually purchase from you by the time they get on that sales call and then there's also things more internal which are very useful for client management and then we have supporting and directing leads but to take it a step further you can even use a tool like this a lot more internally so where it's kind of like an faq or an assistant first line of defense for if any of your clients have questions or let's say it's a weekend but you still want some sort of context or touch point for leads to have in case they do have any questions when you're unavailable. It's so easy to have an AI agent set this up for you. Or at the very least, you could set up an automation for an AI to simply collect whatever inquiry this client is having. So when you are back on Monday, you can look through like a spreadsheet, see what that client needs help with, and you can reach out to them and be like, hey, uh, sorry, I couldn't get back to you. I got your message. I'm here now. I'm ready to help. Again, like the benefit of AI and the way I always love to describe it to my clients, if you can think it, assuming you're a good developer, of course. But if you can think it, AI can make it happen, right? It's, it's so awesome. So this is a look into a basic funnel that you're trying to push leads into. The objective is going to be at the end, actually retaining that lead. So at first, brand new lead, never heard about you, doesn't know anything. We really just have to educate them at this point. So your ad is going to aim to educate and kind of try to attract the lead. Next, assuming the lead clicks on your website, we're now going to try to convert them onto whatever offer or problem you're solving. And then from there, it's just about kind of supporting their belief system and trying to convince them to actually take that first step and go with you as far as whatever service you're offering. And then the goal from there, once we've got them more in our inner circle, is to retain that lead. Of course, we got cash collected at this point. Try to work on an MRR deal. I'm trying to speak at a high level because this could apply to many business models. But as you can see here also on the outside of these different icons, and then these icons on the web here are kind of just how you can slowly link leads to try to push leads deeper into the funnel until you're able to retain that lead in the long term. Now, moving on, we have with AI automation. As you can see, the main difference is there's significantly more touch points. And that's that's the whole purpose of having AI do this. See, you could have a sales team to do this for you, but as I'm saying, at scale, Imagine having hundreds of conversations and having to pay human setters to do that for you. You're going to be breaking the bank. If they're having hundreds of conversations, that's hours of fucking work. And even if they're on a results basis, you know, you're still looking to pay a pretty penny for all the commission that you'll be paying them. Whereas you could have AI that doesn't ask for raises, works 24 seven, works efficiently and can have thousands of conversations simultaneously. So you can now focus on running up ad budget where you're not at limit capacity with this, where you're having humans that are having to do that work and like, yo, we can't take on any more leads. We have more leads than we can handle right now chill out with ads with an ai system like this assuming your offers dialed the funnel's looking solid you could ramp up ads to the moon for all i care if you got ai that's handling all these leads that are coming in it doesn't matter it really becomes a numbers game so this is an example of one of my clients in which we integrated an ai appointment setter to completely offload his instagram dms and push leads onto his financial consulting masterclass program and in a matter of just two days running ads we were able to convert 32 leads onto his masterclass and we spent 32 usd in order to get this which is freaking awesome we were doing a dm campaign we were pushing leads to dm him a trigger word in which we greenlit our AI appointment setter to take over. And what I want to note here is that we were literally mimicking the AI as if it was him running his own DMs. And so throughout this conversation, we were trying to convince leads that he walks the walk and he's actually a genuinely good trader. And you should consider joining his masterclass to actually learn a little something about how to actually trade, how to invest, and you know how to get your money up, basically, right? We were showing PL statements, we were showing verification that he is actually making these trades and that you know he walks the walk. You should join his masterclass. He knows what he's talking about. 
out. You're going to learn a little something. And this was a paid masterclass. So we were able to convince people to actually join it, put up money for it off of ice cold traffic. We were able to convert these leads and then be willing to put up money without even a sales call. They were just putting up money to join this masterclass. Or for this client, we got him a $40 cost per book call, integrating an AI appointment setter to completely offload his messaging platforms. And we even did post call warming sequences to increase his show up rate because he at first had such a shitty show up rate. People were booking in. But again, this is ice cold traffic. They don't give a damn about you. So we were increasing a show up rate by having an AI sales agent for post booking and its whole existence was confirming calls. And if the lead didn't confirm their call, it was automatically canceling the appointment. And I know what you're thinking, whoa, 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 you're canceling appointments, but he also runs a brick and mortar business. He's got more to think about. He's got bigger fish to fry sometimes. So it was an absolute waste of his time for him to be hopping on no-show sales calls. So we set this in place to bulletproof him from ever wasting his time again. And then this is just a deeper look into his ad campaign. As you can see, we got him $3 cost per new message started, over 200 leads invoked in the DMs. And here's just kind of some looks into the AI appointment center we specifically integrated for him, qualifies leads and pushes them over to book an appointment with him. Um, you can kind of pause it, read for yourself if you'd like. I'm not going to actually read through it, but it's great because we had so many qualifications in place so that only leads that were genuinely interested in solving their fitness problems and actually wanted to change were booking calls with them. So they were a lot more qualified, but at a high level, it's really crucial. You switch from, you know, a very basic vanilla funnel to something that's a little more elaborate with different systems in place, points of data collection, areas to be able to track leads. And most importantly of all, the capability to hit your leads from all angles, assuming you've got their data collected. You can now go after them on multiple different messaging channels, not just relying on your single step funnel to do the job. Hopefully you'll get them booked in, but then, you know, even if you do, they're shitty, they're not qualified enough. Anyways, I could keep rambling on about this, but I hope this video helped. Now, if you want more specific detail on how exactly to go about building out funnels, building out an AI appointment setter, running meta ads, go check out the description under this video. I left links to all different tutorials, live walkthroughs, and it goes a lot more in depth on how to actually apply these, how to actually build funnels, run AI appointment setters, and various ad theory. I wanted to keep this video at a high level, but those go in depth. So if you're like, Scott, you know, you were just saying a bunch of bullshit. I need actual tangible things to do. Go check the video below. You'll thank me later.